welcome back to Cave Cooks. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make my famous chili cheese nacho lasagna. So the first thing you're going to want to do is fry some mince. I've got 750 grams of a mix of beef and pork. Get your pan heated up, I'm using a wok. Take your mince, just add that to the pan. Just give this a mix. And you're just going to want to keep stirring this until it's brown. Once your mince is finished browning, you're going to want to take it off the heat and just drain off all the fat. Now we'll just leave that to cool down and move this away and then we'll get on with the white sauce. So for our cheese sauce, we'll turn the heat on. 700 millilitres of milk. And to the milk we won't be adding 60 grams of butter and 60 grams of flour. And a little pinch of salt and pepper. Now you're going to want to keep whisking this, allow it to heat up and thicken. As this heats up and the butter melts, the flour will start to thicken the sauce. Okay, so now that's thickened, we want to be adding the cheese. I've got 125 grams of grated mature cheddar. So again, just slowly whisk this in. It'll allow the sauce to get a bit thicker and give it a nice cheese taste. Okay, so that's the sauce ready. We won't be splitting this and we're going to flavour it in two different ways. Okay, so next we've got our drained mince and we've got our sauce. We want to take some of the sauce, add it to the mince. So once you've added your sauce into your mince, you won't be adding a few things to give it a bit of a kick. So we want about a teaspoon of smoked paprika, about a teaspoon of cayenne chilli pepper, half a teaspoon of chipotle paste, and finally one teaspoon of tomato puree. And now I just want to give that a good mix. Okay, so we're now ready to start putting this together. The first thing you want is some nachos, tortilla chips, once you layer them in the bottom of your dish, and next up we want some of the chili. Then we want some grated cheese, some jalapenos, and some of our cheese sauce. And then we do the same again. Four tortilla chips. And the rest of our chili. Some more grated cheese. Just sprinkle that all over. You can use as little or as much of this as you want. I mean, more is always better. Jalapenos again. And then the last of our cheese sauce. Okay, so now we've got to preheat our oven to gas mark six. So once your oven's preheated, this one's be going in for 40 minutes on the middle shelf. Okay, so it's been 40 minutes, we can now take that out of the oven. And look at that. Cheesiness on this is immense. As you can see, it looks amazing. So let's just take a big chunk of this out. Mm. Actually, that is so good. They've got to be some of the best nachos you will ever eat. So, that is everything for today. 
I'm gonna go and I'm gonna finish this.